Welcome back to the Kriplabs Passive Income YouTube channel. Today we're talking about just that, passive income through your DeFi portfolio. We're going to talk about concentrated liquidity and answer a question, and this video is inspired by that question. It was in the YouTube comments, what do you mean by becoming the bank? I say that a lot, and I think people, they don't fully understand it, and I get it because I wouldn't have understood what the hell I'm talking about years ago as well. So becoming the bank, becoming a market maker, providing liquidity, getting paid the fees of this $2.5 billion in volume over the last 24 hours. That's happening across decentralized exchanges. I'm going to break all this down. And how do we get a piece of it? Even if it's a small piece, it can add up to dollars and tens of dollars and hundreds of dollars per day, depending on how much liquidity you put up and what strategy you're using. Good old wide range liquidity pools, like full range liquidity pools or concentrated liquidity pools. And we're going to talk about all that in today's video. So as you can see, volume is up. And so I'm on DeFi Llama here, and we're looking at the decentralized exchanges volume. So if you have a centralized exchange like Coinbase, where there's a custodian, like you don't own your dollars on your centralized exchange, we've seen what happened with things like FTX. It's like a bank. And a decentralized exchange is like the People's Bank. And you can provide liquidity into that bank, and guess who gets paid from all the fees, all the swapping, all the trading, all the action that's happening. You do. I do. And there's $2.5 billion, according to DeFi Lama, that has gone through decentralized exchanges over the last 24 hours. That's crazy. $27 billion over the last seven days. Crazy. And if we scroll down, we can see Uniswap is the biggest by volume and also by TVL at $3.6 billion as of this recording. We play with a lot of Uniswap pools. Now, we do have some on PancakeSwap, ThorChain, Orca for Solana. That's something we've been playing with a lot lately. One of our members is literally like printing money in Orca. Uh, Radium is something we play with. Trader Joe, I am stacking Trader Joe tokens. And I can create literally money out of thin air. And I'm being a little dramatic there, but you are. You're providing liquidity and you're getting paid fees. Now, you do have to know what you're doing. And we'll talk about that. Camelot. All great Casper swap opportunities there, 27 million in volume, uh, 88 million in total value locked. We can keep going down. A lot of us know Pulse X, GMX. That's something that's been printing me money for quite a while. Base swap, many people will know that. That's shot up in TVL. I mean, it's only, uh, I don't know why it's rated there. Uh, it's because it's going by volume. A lot of volume going through that. Fairly low TVL on base swap compared to the big ones. So what does this mean? How do we tap into that? We'll use, there's a lot of a lot of tools. We'll kind of flip between this and DeFi Llama, but basically you can have a look at different pairs, ETH ARB, ETH USDC. For instance, this ARB USDC, which is a concentrated liquidity pool. I'm in and I've earned a, another $110. Beautiful. I can collect these fees. I can reinvest them. I can add liquidity. I can remove liquidity. I'm putting up some ARB in USDC. I'm providing liquidity in a range and I'm getting paid. So just for fun, we'll go over to, I mean, I got PancakeSwap loaded up. I got Trader Joe, really, really big DEXs. And you can set your range if you're using V3s or if you're using concentrated liquidity, you can set your range and you can provide liquidity to that pair and the tighter your range, and I'm careful when I say this because the tighter the range doesn't mean you're going to earn more. You may earn more on paper because you set a tighter range, and so you're going to get more fees you know, per minute, per hour, per day, but you also risk moving out of range and not collecting fees at all. So I have personally found that by setting much wider ranges and being more hands-off and not rebalancing because that does cost you money and you're also locking in your losses and permanent losses – I can make more because I'm playing the long game. I'm playing the slow and steady game versus, again, trying to set super tight ranges because you're getting into the world of trading at that point. You're trying to predict which way things are going. And for most people, it's just way too much. We have lives to live and we want it passive, not active. And so just like on Uniswap, you can set your ranges. You can do your thing. And there's a ton of different strategies here on PancakeSwap. I can go. 
and I can find different farms, Cake BNB, Cake BUSD, Cake USDT. Some of these are earning up to 125%. They have some multipliers and they're boosted, and I'm not going to get into all that. But basically, you can start seeing some potential. There's a BTC ETH pool here, ETH USDT pool here. And again, we're looking at concentrated liquidity. But the point is, if I can take blue chip assets that I want to hold for the long term anyway, and just to make sure I add context, there are strategies behind all of this. If the markets are ready to pump, if things are green, and you're not in correlated pairs, if you're in something like this, then you'll see impermanent loss. Now, you won't lose money if things are green, but you won't make as much as you could potentially just holding on to ARB. Now, closer to ETF approval, as markets shift, we have to make decisions on do we just want to hold ARB and ride token appreciation? Do we want to get more into correlated pairs so we can be earning an income while riding token appreciation or coin appreciation? Or do we want to get fully out of it, convert to stable coin because we think markets are going to crash? Now, I don't day trade. I don't really even swing trade. I just want to create cash flow. And the whole idea behind this is to create cash flow and keep stacking for the bull run. This is not all of it because not everything is held on ledger. Plus, I'm in a ton of liquidity pools. Plus, I've got one of these beautiful new tangent cards that anything that ledger doesn't hold, I hold on the tangent card. But the point is, let's say, you know, I've surpassed the $250,000 mark for the bull run. Initial goal was to get to around one fifty, But because of liquidity pools, I just kept printing during a sideways market. And I kept adding to my positions, and now I'm sitting at around 250, probably 260, and I like to get to 300 before the bull run. And how am I doing that? I'm not injecting new money for my bank account into this. I'm using liquidity pools to print me said coins or tokens that I either want to hold, or if I don't want to hold them, I'm converting them to the assets I want to hold, and just every single week, adding to my positions, adding to my bull run bank. And if I could build a three hundred, even three hundred fifty thousand dollar bull run bag, and I can just see a five six x on it, which is not going to be difficult to do in the next bull run, you're sitting really pretty. And that's where you'll hear me talk about yield on yield on yield. I really hope that makes sense. And and just to kind of bring this home, what's the difference between a regular liquidity pool where I could just be putting ARB and USDC on a full range type liquidity pool? Well. I'll be, get, I'll be earning way less fees because my liquidity is being used across the whole range. Concentrated liquidity, I'm saying, hey, if the price of ARB sits between this and this, I'm going to provide liquidity. And now more of my liquidity is being used, and so I'm earning a higher percentage of the fees. And you can 3x, 4x what you're earning by leveraging concentrated liquidity versus regular liquidity, so to speak. But it will take an education. And it will take strategy. It will take playing with it. It will take learning the game. But I think the game is worth learning because literally you are becoming the bank. That to me just makes my, I get goosebumps because there's never been a time in history where the everyday person like you and me got a opportunity like this. And when you experience it, because we see members and clients, once their eyes open up to it and they're like, oh my God, You'll never look at things the same way. You'll never look at your bank account or even the returns you're making in the stock market. You'll never look at it the same way because the amount of control and the amount of control over your liquidity that you have in DeFi inspires the crap out of me. And I know if you played with it for even a little bit, you'd, you'd start making connections of like, this is an opportunity, maybe the biggest opportunity we've ever seen. I'll leave that choice up to you. What I'll do, I'll move my little mug in the middle. And I'll leave some educational content up here and here and here and here. Do dive in, study, join us in the UIG if you want to take that study, that learning, that group, that community, that support, the projects, the pools, the technical analysis calls. We have it all. I'll leave a link to the UIG if it interests you. And with that said, I'm going to zip on out of here. Do check out some educational videos. If I can be of service, do not hesitate to reach out in the comments below. And with that said, I'm going to get out of here. Peace.